guys, it's your best boxing friends. I'm Kelsey. This is Rachel. Rachel, a huge development in boxing. You know that we've got all these title belts out there. We've got the so-called lineal championship that Tyson Fury wears. Let's just look at heavyweight. You've got the alphabet organizations, the WBC, WBA, WBO, IBF. Some people even consider the IBO a title. I don't know why. It's stupid. And now you, you have the Snickers heavyweight champion of the world, Andy Ruiz, who as you can see, has been presented a Snickers heavy, Snickers, I don't know what they call it, but some kind of Snickers title belt that he has. So I just want to know, like, to you, there's also the Ring Magazine belt. Like, what belt would you rather have? Definitely the Snickers belt. Yeah, yeah. I bet. <laughs> Although I wonder, what is their qualifications for winning a Snickers belt? Is it I winning you a use... championship and mentioning Snickers? <laughs> I don't know. I would imagine it's just like any other belt. Now, we don't know how Snickers will be. Will they just be another sanctioning nonsense? Are they going to be like mandatories? Or do you just have to beat Andy Ruiz and also like Snickers, right? Right. So, like, who are other... I feel like Anthony Joshua... Dude, you don't, you've never had a Snickers in your life. I can tell. <laughs> okay? So, I feel like he's out. He definitely can't win. But maybe my dude Tyson Fury, you know what I mean? I feel like he's had some Snickers. <laughs> You know, like, he's a normal. He looks in, like he's in great shape. I'm not saying anything about that. But I feel like Tyson, if Tyson's doing cocaine, I think he's probably had a Snickers or two. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he he's a candidate. I would guess that Deontay Wilder from Alabama, because he's from the United States. Do they have Snickers in the UK? I have no idea. Is Snickers a worldwide thing? I don't you know. You guys have Dr. Pepper there? What you got there? Definitely Tell not Dr. Pepper. That is yeah, not they don't have Dr. Thing. Pepper. I don't even have Dr. Pepper, like, in some, some places. places in the United States. Yeah. So. Interesting. Anyway, <laughs> also thought another idea about this is that is this a vast, is there some kind of grand conspiracy against Andy Ruiz? You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know who owns Snickers. You know how there's all these multimedia conglomerates. Oh, you mean that they're working against him by getting Andy yeah. to eat more Snickers? Yeah. They're like, hey man, it's because like they, whoever owns this, owns Sky, and they are partially like they're invested in Anthony Joshua. <laughs> and so they're like, hey, send Andy Ruiz this belt. That's but really, quite Quite the conspiracy Send him 40,000 Snickers bars <laughs> because we want him as fat as possible before the next fight. Fatten him up for the kill, if you will. You think there's something like that going on? Probably. I have to assume, since nobody said that explicitly that it's not going on, we have to assume that it is going on. I think that that's just journalism. So we assume that there's a vast conspiracy against Andy Ruiz. Now, here's the problem with that, the whole conspiracy angle that they're using is like, are you sure you're not just giving Andy Ruiz more power? You know? Right. Because, like, when you eat a Snickers, like, you get a sugar buzz. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it feels good, right? That's why people eat them. Um, do you think Ruiz uses that to, like, hit the heavy bag? And, like, you know, it's kind of like his Scooby snack, if you watch Scooby-Doo. Or it's his spinach, if you are a pie pie connoisseur. There's all sorts of different ways we could go with this. What do you think about that? Well, I basically, I just can't wait till Snickers comes out with, like, their Snickers Silver Champion and snickers you know right. i don't know diamond belts um. pearl champion <laughs> they're just making up champion different like what, what kind of thing is this coral champion and then who is snickers like owned by because i'm thinking snickers might be part of another company hershey or mars right and so then are there going to be like milky way <gasps> champions yeah and... reese's pieces champions <laughs> reese's peanut butter cup champions and then they even got a champion for the combined reese's peanut butter cups that have reese's pieces inside of them I've never had one of those before, but they look amazing. <laughs> anyway, I'm really excited about uh, our new Snickers champion. I think I welcome our new overlords. It can't be worse than the WBA, <laughs> right? Snickers cannot be worse than the WBA. WBA, they just like, I don't even understand. When you look up, if you try to find who the WBA champion is, it is stupid complicated. They've got a super champion, a regular champion, just a champion. And then they've got, like, some divisions have a super champion, some of them don't. It's just, like, crazy insane. Of all the title organizations there are out there, the WA is awful. Though. At least, even if Snickers, this is all they ever do, is commemorate this win for Andy Rizzo, they're already better than the WBA. I feel like I trust them. You know what I mean? <laughs> I trust Snickers over the WBA and probably any other alphabet organization besides Ring Magazine. Right. I don't really know how to transition out of that. Well, I haven't. I, well, I'm not really done talking yet, Rachel. <laughs> okay. One more thing I would like to talk about, Tyson Fury. While we're talking about title belts, what keeps Tyson Fury? If I was Tyson Fury and I'm the lineal heavyweight champion. In fact, if I'm ESPN, 
promote because ESPN calls him the lineal champion at Heavyweight Champion of the World. They didn't really do that before. They had this TV relationship with him, but basically they've they've they're using that to promote him. Lineal Heavyweight Champion of the World. Top rank calls him lineal Heavyweight Champion of the World. Why not make him a belt? You know, you could just do that. Who keeps you from doing that? You could go in there. You know, like like uh, in the WWE where, uh, well, like the NWO when they like painted on the thing, they could make his own belt and just be like, this is the, the lineal heavyweight championship of the world. You know, and the best thing about owning that belt that you made, you don't have to get up if you lose. <laughs> You'd be like, this is my belt. I made it. Because you can wear, you can. They don't restrict you, I don't think, from wearing articles of clothing inside the boxing ring. Or you could even bring like a, just a like a leather belt, like just a regular old belt. A braided belt, frayed braided belt, and be like, this is the Gypsy King belt. You know what I mean? Yes. Do you not agree with this? <laughs> well, like, I mean, I don't know where you're going with this. I think that like, he should make his own belt. People, if Snickers can make a belt I've for I've seen him. people walk to the ring with crowns on and walk to the ring with robes with, like, stuff written on the back. So, yeah, clearly he could do any of that. Isn't there, like, some mental health organization out there? Like, maybe who? 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 The WHO World Health Why aren't you making him a belt for being mental health champion of the world, right? Homeboy gets a Snickers belt, and we can't get this guy who basically rose from the dead, both literally and figuratively, from addiction, and then also from Deontay Wilder's uh, donkey. Oh, no, I can't say donkey punch. <laughs> Have you ever, did you know what, do you know what a donkey punch is? I you know. don't want to know. Okay. I used to say that term. Anyway, re relatively like recently, I was like, what does that even mean? I looked it up and I was like, Ooh. <laughs> it's not something you want ever to know about. Okay. Well, donkeys can't punch, so. And yeah, so I don't know. I know that Andy Ruiz, to me, is, is the, the Snickers champion. You know, you can be the Snickers champion. Now, I'm not promising you any Snickers. Yeah, unless you mean that. like Snickers, like... <laughs> <laughs> For liking, comment, and subscribing. I can offer you that, friend. Um, but we thank you for watching our show. We appreciate you. Um, and you're the best. You're the Snickers best. Okay. You snicker now. I don't know how. Okay, I can't even. Okay. It's too much. Well, I... he's, he's gone into a Snickers spiral.